since most of you are asking how to solve the WSL error. We have shown this here in simpler ways. Hope this finds you well. Before we begin, please support us by subscribing if you haven't already. Note, you need to enable virtualization from the BIOS. Restart and enter BIOS setup. Enable VTD or VTX, whichever is available on your system. Save and exit the setup. Search for features in Windows Search. Open Turn Windows Features on or off. Scroll down and check the boxes. Windows Subsystem for Linux, Virtual Machine Platform, Hypervisor Platform. Now click OK. Reboot now. After restarting the system, right-click on the Windows icon on the taskbar and open Terminal Admin. Click Yes. Now copy the commands from the description and paste them one by one into the terminal. Copy the first command. Right-click to paste and press Enter. Ubuntu will be installed using this command. Copy the second command. Right-click to paste and press Enter. This command will update to WSL version 2. Copy the third command. Right-click to paste and press Enter. This command will set the default WSL version to 2. After you have completed all of the steps, close the terminal, open Windows Search, and search for Ubuntu. Select Ubuntu, right-click, and run as administrator. Now set new Unix username and password. WSL2 is successfully installed. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't miss out on any of our new videos. Click the subscribe button to stay updated.